Kev okay, slimming yeah. down. I saw Kev. He's slimming down. I see I my boy. My Kev, what happens when you get like a good, like a really good body? What are you gonna do? Me? Yeah. What happens when you get? I'm a never good gonna body? get a really good body. You think you're gonna I be? Even, I don't even lie to myself about that. No, I'm saying, but you are working out a lot more. So what happens when you get a good body? I just ate a piece of sausage before I walked in here. Literally (laughs) two seconds. I had a smoothie. This is only so I don't get up to 260. Don't don't lie to yourself. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. You just ate a sausage? A piece of sausage. Just a little something just to hold me over. Just by itself? No, it was leftover from breakfast. Ain't nothing wrong with a little sausage. Ain't nothing wrong with a little sausage here and there. Ain't nothing wrong, Lil Saw. Man, your hair looks <laughs> phenomenal. Does it? Thank it you. Does. Cause I just went, I just cut it right now because I I need to cut it more. My ends are terrible. Okay. It I'm looks about really to... good. It looks really good. Oh my god. It does. I hate yeah. it personally. Shut up, Kev. You just it's as they say laid. Hair. You can't uh you can't be going into this day all confident. <laughs> Happy, I was trying uh, to be nice to you. I was like, uh, what if, you know, what if you get a good body? I was like trying to be nice to you. I, I, don't, I don't I don't know what to do with that. I don't I don't trust you. I'm like Major Payne when that little kid tried to hug him. He was like, what's your angle, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Meg, happy belated um Founders Day. Founders Day, yeah. Yeah. Well, I also I have a I question about that though, Meg. Delta Super Theta Sorority Incorporated. Oh, no, you was a Delta too. Two. You two. Yeah. You was a Delta? Oh. Yeah, that's out. Where you go to? Where you go to school, Canelia? I went to Hampton University. The real HU, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for both of y'all. The Deltas, the AKAs, and the Zetas all have their Founders Day in the same week. What? How's that? Why do y'all think that is? You know what? There is a reason. Um, it was because it was like the beginning of the semester. And yeah, so that's where I was my guess. Yeah. Yeah, and. I think it was one other layer to that, but yeah, they all the same. And all of the, most of the guys as well. It's not just the women. Because yeah. oh, really? the, the Qs are in January. Um, the Sigmas are in January. Apples too. But did they all do yeah. their, their crossing the, the previous semester and then they was done and they started at the beginning of that next semester? No, that's not, found. Founders Day is like when you're, when your sorority fraternity was founded so meaning there wouldn't have been a line before that but you don't think they had to like y'all we gotta we gotta like memorize our own well i guess there's no history to memorize yet (laughs) (laughs) what day we found it well that's what we kind of here for we about to set that up (laughs) that's the day we started the day we were like hey today that's hilarious what's the history i don't know what you do today Most of my homegirls are Delta. The the highest proportion of my homegirls are Deltas. This Delta? That's because you smart. Put your hands down, Pat. I know you want to be one of us. That. Now they got to stomp you out. Yeah, no, sir. you know what? Sorry. Because since, since everything is like politically correct now, Pat, that actually means you want to be a Delta, which we probably would let you in. So <laughs> stop well, doing that. Cool. At the white schools, they probably would have. At the HBCUs, they still would have been like, get your ass up out of here, sir. Right, they would have right. beat, yeah. beat people up for representation. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Pat. You get stumped out in front of your mama. No, you, no, you. Remember yeah. they was trying to beat up Boosie when he was doing Kappa stuff? They was legit upset. Really? Mad. Yes. And his yeah, brother is a, it, is a cop, I believe. You gotta go through stuff to be able to say you are whatever organization. So don't be- That's funny to loser. beat somebody up because they ain't, haven't gone through stuff. <laughs> well, no, it's, just, it's just the respect factor, right? Because yeah, people, no, I get it. They, you know, they be like, eh, eh, eh. "Come on now, like, don't." No, I, I get it. Boosie, Boosie was doing the bow, and yeah, he had got the jacket too, right? He had like a shirt. He had the the KSI shirt on, right? Wow, Boosie go to college. Oh, that's right. college. Bro, the funniest thing Boosie ever did to me is when he said he offered Mark Zuckerberger, what he called him. <laughs> He said, I offered Mark Zuckerberger a thousand a hundred thousand to give me my, my IG back. He didn't respond. <laughs> I don't are, are you sure it was a hundred thousand? Hundred I think it was a hundred thousand he said on Blab. I thought it was way less impressive than that. It was <laughs> so I mean it's nothing to Mark Zuckerberger, but it was hilarious to me. Zuckerberger. <laughs> Cause he was like, I was trying to get my people to get in contact with him. <laughs> like, you think Mark Zuckerberg will be like, Boosie is upset. Give Boosie his page back. 
<laughs> not at all. Facebook is dealing with antitrust lawsuits and stuff. <laughs> There's Maybe. no way Mark Zuckerberg knows who Uzi is ever. I'm calling him that. There's That's no not his way. name. And if he knew, he would not give him his page. What? Mark Zuckerberg? Like <laughs> he's not giving him his page. He said yeah. he was gonna sue him because his his uh him losing his Instagram was causing his business to lose money. What do niggas think the law is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Like niggas will will look you dead in the face and be like, "I am suing you for this," and it's not suable. <laughs> well, in this country, anything is suable. Honestly, you can sue for almost it's it now. Not, you may not win. What was the crazy <laughs> one? Oh, the crazy one was some uh, some dude just sued King Hawaiian Rolls because he found out they were made in Carson out here and not in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that went to court. Did it really? Yeah, so, like, if you don't just eat that roll and shut your ass up. Like, Literally. <laughs> just eat what the did roll. he do them for? Just eat the roll. For a fraud or something, because they were like misrepresenting. And, and yeah. but it really did originate from Hawaii. But just Can you imagine him bite a roll and turn to the pack over, like, where was this? Carson! Oh he spits my, it out. Are you, are you kidding me? Man, <laughs> heads will roll for this. Them I almost had a chance to go tour that factory. Really? Yes, bro. They was there was a time I don't know if y'all remember this or if we even knew each other. There was a time Hawaiian's Sweet Roll kept sending me all this product bags and bread and stuff. Oh, they were looking for a mascot. I remember that. They were like, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you want to know the truth about this, Pat? This is a true story. You know why that stopped? I asked King's Hawaiian to sponsor the drop when I first got to All Deaf. And they were like, oh, send us some links. Send them some links. They were like, this does not coincide with King's Hawaiian's brand <laughs> guidelines. And they never sent me no bread ever again. What was the, do you remember the topics of, of those said days? Uh, I just sent them the... It was early, early. I think Jay Snow and Cynthia were still doing the drop. It's probably my first three months at All Deaf. I was trying to swing into a brand deal. And they were like, all right, bro, never mind. We're not actually talking to you at all anymore. That's crazy. Someone else who should have just ate the rolls and shut up. <laughs> so they offered me a chance to tour the factory in Carson. And I was like, yes, man. But then after that, it was like, you can't come in no more. That would have been cool. Bro, I would have been like Willy Wonka. Yeah, I would have been like one of the like kids in the chocolate factory. That yeah. would have been cool or overwhelmingly like unimpressive. It was just one of the two. Because it well, could you have know been. The like, people who work there probably hate those rolls now. Yeah. They probably hate the time. smell of it. It's like when I worked at Burger King, bro, I, I couldn't go into a, When I quit Burger King, I didn't go into one for like 10 years. Wait, was it like that for you to hear when you quit uh, White Castle? No, no, I could eat White Castles the next day. <laughs> here you worked at the white castle you worked at white castle i worked at white castles for uh four years he oh, was no. the he was the earl first of all I was, a, I was a duke <laughs> you got that promotion at the, the duke castle. of white castle i was a duke <laughs> it was fantastic i went from so I got robbed twice at White Castles at gunpoint. Of course. Right? Wait, 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 while working there? Yeah, the first okay, time I got White robbed. Castle, you getting robbed. <laughs> yeah, I got robbed through the drive through the first time. And I was like, hey, he's so lazy. He not even committed to his craft. Then I thought about, I was like, this nigga's genius. He didn't even have to get out of the car to go to work. Um, the second Damn. time dude came in, ordered one White Castle, got me to open the register and then up the burner on me. And- uh, Wait, wait, hold on. For the, for the one in the drive through did you like, because it's the drive through did you like just close the door, or close the window and like move? Or like, did you say, oh, I'll give you the money and like walk to the register and give him the money? Mm. So I'm already at the register, the drive through window, the oh, register's right there. So I okay. opened the, the window, I saw the gun. I was like, okay, let me get you what you came for. I'm not gonna close a window like a bullet can't go through there. <laughs> he but just jumped been back in the day. Cause now they got the bulletproof glass at the White Castle drive through This was Some back- of them do. Some of them do. Meg, to answer your question, I can duck not that fast. 
I'm not. I'm not. not worth it. I don't know why. Also, I I'm not risking it over what's in the drawer at White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that important to me. I'll put it out before. Get, when you five like, bucks in there, like you get right. 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 We had we had, <laughs> we had just did a drop. We had just dropped cash, so literally he made away with like seventy five dollars. There ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there. I'm not what about by that time, people were using like debit card <laughs> transactions more, way more than cash. Yeah. You can't even say made away if it's not over five hundred dollars. He just <laughs> left with that money. <laughs> it made me surprised. Like here's I was surprised. Surprised. At, like protocol, like whenever you're in training to be like, hey, if no, someone asks for money, no, they, they Lewis they, teaches they did, you. They did not go over that at all, man. They would make you believe they never got robbed in training. They were like, oh, White House is the safest place. Cause at the time, White House was paid the much, the most. I think we was making $7.25 on, on the day shift and that night shift, it went up a dollar. So I think you would make an $8.25 on night shift. So that the hazard pay for robbery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else, everybody else is like, like 625 or, 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 or 550. Everybody, all the other fast food places was like five something. So I was like, I hey, white castles, like that was the, the creme de la creme. I was, There's I was no E, like, I don't believe, on the in the white castle. If I'm not mistaken, it, it's just white castle. I didn't put an S one. What do you mean? I be yeah, saying white castles like or the white castle. Oh no, do it's you say castle. McDonald's? <laughs> no, my mom does. Take me to the He was on Game of Thrones. He was from House White Castle. White Castles. <laughs> to hear more, first of his name, protector of the bun. <laughs> he was the only employee in a suit of armor. Like, bro, you, we just wear the name tag. <laughs> Why did he here keep coming to work with a sword on his belt? <laughs> We must defend this land. Will you dr <laughs> drop a fry and hush? That's because we had to fight you off, Kevin. You were getting bouncing and bouncing around from white girls to white girls. He was the dragon. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna tell you a lie. Anytime we was in the Midwest uh, <laughs> having a show, we absolutely went by White Castle. Love White Castle. That was like at the club let out at, in college, White mm -hmm. Castle. That bread was yeah. soft. Some stomach gonna be destroyed. Though. Oh, I'm stomach kidding. gonna be like, please. You gonna be ruined. Hey, <laughs> your stomach gonna be like the girl on the Matrix to hear. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Here's the crazy thing. If you would have took the onions off of it, would have made the world of a difference. It's those onions that we cook the, the White Castles on because those onions come freeze dried. So we scoop them out of this box, they dry. We put them in a bucket, like a huge bucket, put water in it, and then it sits for like four hours and then it turns back into an onion. Hold see, on, what y'all wasn't chopping no onions in there? Boy, hell no. Nah. You see how many onions was on that, that damn griddle? Oh, no, we ain't chopping that. The my I, my one of my first jobs at the Puyallup Fair was onion boy on the grill. Onion, onion boy? All I did was take big buckets of of Vidalia sweet onions, mm -hmm. toss them on the grill. Grill them up, and then they would make burgers with them. That Ooh, whole I bet place. You, you was big. Oh, up. to hear. You was big. Oh, up. that's. Oh, I remember you talking about that. <laughs> I, 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 I would. No, no, because they. I don't know because they were pre-cut. They it didn't mess up your eyes. Oh, you didn't chop them. No, no, no. They were already they were already chopped in and so what? Already you had just put them on the grill and watched them. I just saw my whole job for eight hours a day was to saute onions. You, they didn't let you touch the buns, the meat. They're like, no, just onion. After. Onion boy, you saute these onions and shut up. I didn't know that they, was a specific. They couldn't, they couldn't risk him eating everything. They was like, he's not gonna eat these onions raw. Keep <laughs> <laughs> him away from those buns and we might be able to stay afloat. <laughs> I remember I used to, Melissa used to live out there by that fair. I used to try to go to her house straight from work. She was like, listen, hey, hey. You can't do that. You can't do that. You got you got to go home and take a shower, right, man. You can't come Damn. stay over. Damn. It was Bro. that bad? Oh, oh Pat. <laughs> it was in my car. If what I restaurant was this? It, huh? What restaurant was this? Oh, what was that? It was the Puyallup Fair. It was only for like, uh, I don't know, three weeks or something like that. Four weeks. Oh, okay. Like a summer job? Yeah, or, we, it was probably, yeah. Everybody thought it was an onions, but it was really just you being musty. Big <laughs> musty. That's hilarious. He was unemployed throughout the fair. He was just at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm on onion boy. <laughs> I can't remember the name of that place. Dang, this I is a perfect remember. place for us to go ahead and jump into the first topic no, no. today. And we're going to do that right after this. So what time it is. 
It's, it's already February, okay? It's already February. Y'all know where I'm going with this, but let me tell you this first. Free stuff is the best. But free stuff that will ignite your Valentine's Day is even better. So check this out, all right? When you go to adamandeve.com and select almost any one item, you'll get it at 50% off. That's right. Almost anything on the entire site, you'll get it for 50% off. Now, that's amazing by itself, but here's where they load on the free stuff. When you enter in my exclusive code at checkout, the squad, S-Q, U-A-D-D, you already know how I get down. Not only do you get 50% off that one item, you'll also get 10 tantalizing items completely for free. First, for your viewing pleasure, okay, you get six free movies because, you know, I'm going to hook you up with that. Next, you get a free mystery pack that includes an item for him, a, a special toy for her, and then a little something that you both will enjoy. You understand me? And on top of all of that, you get free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Now, that's the cherry on top. All right, that's a lot of free Valentine's stuff. So head on over to adamandeve.com and be sure to use the offer code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Again, that's SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, because without it, there will be no free Valentine's stuff. That's SQUAD at adamandeve.com. Holla at your boy. And we're back. First topic of the day, we have, would you have rather signed to Death Row Records or Bad Boy Records? Oh, that's easy for me. I don't know which well, one. You picking? have what you picking, Meg? It's easy. What is it? Um, the re okay, so I'm gonna go with Death Row, and the reason why is because everybody on Bad Boy ended up bankrupt. Everybody, look it up. They all filed for bankruptcy because Diddy was out here giving them terrible deals to people on Bad Boy. Is no well, Suge Knight as a boss? Yeah, absolutely. I'll go with Suge Knight. If you're going to steal my record money, I'd rather at least get some shiny, shoot, shiny suits and dance. What was that? Yeah. You'd rather get some what? Shiny suits and do this. <laughs> Suge Knight, they never like they had no fun. They never had no. no it was like killing people at the studio. Yeah, like, they, they ain't never had no donuts in the bedroom. That? What's wrong with a little murder? This Suge Knight like hung Vanilla Ice out of a, a hotel balcony. Rightly so, rightly so. Listen, I feel like you either no. sign into a record company that's threatening you to make music, or you're signing to a record company that won't put your music out. Like those are your two options. At least you got to make it and, and have a good time. money you did have with no songs out. That's what you did. You know, back in the day, I would have said Death Row because Tupac was supposed to be my husband, and I feel like that was how we gonna meet and get married, and he was gonna get to know me, and that was gonna be our life. That's but as an adult, I'm picking Bad Boy. Like, pick, I'm not about to be getting murdered over no albums. Like, I'm not. Should but they didn't murder nobody on Death Row. They only murdered... Should not I ran somebody <laughs> over with the pickup truck. <laughs> okay. And then went to court and put glasses on. Let me tell you what. This I'm does like, not make you innocent. Should Knight was like, hold on. Everybody what? does that. <laughs> Could I Everybody run somebody does. over? I have poor vision. <laughs> I want to I wanna circle back and, and point out the fact that Kanye said that they, her and Tupac were going to get married. Then he was going to get to know her. Like, I want to... <laughs> in that order. That order. It didn't matter. He was going to marry. He was going to marry. Then... Plans. That's good plan. Yeah, logical. logical. And you imagine Cornelia being married to Tupac, Tupac still being alive. He talking about thug life, ride or die, hell Mary. And Cornelia is still a news broadcaster. We're live from Channel 5. We're running top. I know I used uh, to be hood. I'm from Flint. I used to be a hood booger. Don't get it. Don't sleep. Flint. <laughs> this the old me. The, the, the young me? Look, I would have been. I probably would have had pink and purple braids. Okay? Don't sleep. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pink and purple? Oh, I remember Pink that. That was a very hair. specific combo. That <laughs> meant you can fight. <laughs> I was very bad at fighting. I was I can fake fight though. I'm good at the fake fight. What is fake fighting? When you look like you're about to be like, what? Like the fake oh, the, you're good at the pre-fight. Okay. But yeah, you're yeah. good at peacocking. That's peacocking. Yes, yes. What? <laughs> what Master, you think? I've mastered the peacocking. Mastered it. I'm going with that. I'm, I'm going with Bad Boy. I like Puff. He seemed like a cool dude. I'm gonna go with him. Okay, everybody uh, that's gonna be on Bad Boy is gonna be broke. And as an adult, y'all gonna be gonna broke. be dead. Suge was in the car with. He didn't with, kill nobody on the label. Only people around the label. Why? How was he in the car with 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 Tupac and he didn't get hit once? He's huge. Not only that, 
I was Remember, I don't know if y'all saw that clip where Snoop was talking about <clears throat> Master P saving his life because he was about to uh, put out an yeah. album called Fuck Death Row or something like that. Yep. If 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 Snoop, who was the, also the biggest artist at the time, had those type of reservations and those type of feelings toward it, if Dr. Dre left the he left the record label and said, y'all can have all the masters to my song. I don't even <laughs> want it. I don't Coward. even want, you remember his whole, the Snoop Dogg album, the first chronic, he said, y'all can have all of it. I don't even want it. You don't want it? That's toxic. That, that's that's number two. And then Tupac is number three. It's like, bro, come on. Come on, bro. But you made a good point. Besides Snoop, Dr. Dre, and Tupac, we don't know none of them other Negroes on death row. Okay, oh, yes, ain't do. nobody talking about dads and corrupting them. Yeah, hey, 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 MC Hammer was hey. signed to death row, and don't nobody even remember that Pumps in the Bump was a death row record. Okay? Hey. Was it really? Yes, MC Hammer was signed to death row. I knew he was signed. I realized Pumps in the Bump was, was one of the songs. First of all, no one talked about Bow Wow. As a death row uh, artist, because he was Bow Wow. Yes, he was Boward Woward. You, <laughs> I almost was like his, his name. I thought his name was Shad something. Is it Shad Woward? Shad <laughs> Woward. Wow. They call somebody on Twitter called him. He said Bow Wow. Full name is Boward Woward, and I think I've been saying that at every opportunity I can for the last week. Boward. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> when was Bow Wow signed to, to death row? On, it was on for the like last, a week. On the last years. On the last years of the company. You don't remember when he photoshopped himself into that uh, death row? With a uh, black shirt on and a chain? Okay. He was like... And he was like, don't don't forget, I was on this label. He did too. do that. He, I did not. So I did, did not. The the turtle turtle had, he had the turtle neck on. It had Snoop. It had Daz and Corrupt, Dog Pound. It had Dre. It had Vanilla Ice. It had... Uh, MC Hammer, they had RBX, they had Rage, they had um, I was a chick on there too. Uh, they also had Danny Boy, he was the dude that sang all their hooks. God damn me. Um, <laughs> Bow Wow, and then uh, oh, it's so funny when you say that. God damn but me, now, but, but take that roster right and then compare it. So, do you want to be with that crew or do you want to be with Biggie, Lil Kim? Uh, Mace, Puff, Faith. I thought Lil Kim wasn't signed to De to a bad boy. Yeah, I oh. thought she was. Uh, well, she was she like was... she was signed Junior to Junior Mafia, Mafia, but Junior Mafia, if I'm, I think it was like a, a subsidiary of Bad Boy, maybe we can I take her out. Mafia was a uh, one twelve total. Um, Black Rob, you, like I would rather be with them than Daz and them. I'm sorry. I listen, Bad Boy had fun. They had Danity Kane, the band. They had the best reality music show. Making the band was great. Uh, Terrible, though. And they had hits consistently. Boy, and yeah. they had Loon. They had. Um, you always say that. You always I say love Loon. Loon. We don't talk enough about Loon. Who We're was the one that? Uh, G Depp, the Harlem Shake. Black Rob. She said Black Rob. Oh, nice Craig flow, Mack. Nice flow, nice flow, light, whoa. Craig Mack, come on. Remember Craig that? Mack, he was there before anybody else. No, no, but that also means you live on a struggle bus. So you're doing all this fun stuff and now you get in Section 8 housing and you no, finally- That's fine, they probably have- twelve don't live in Section 8. What's 12 live in Atlanta? They fine. <laughs> all the bad boy no, artists probably lived on the same too. floor. Oh, fine. Uh, and then what is this? Oh, back in 2015, I had to pull this up for y'all. 34 bad boy artists who left the label, most of them because of money problems. That's sad. That's not unique to bad boy. That's pretty that's much everybody who's not a hum humongous they star. Have, they that's have pretty, a higher pretty, rate of bankrupt artists than any other label. Yes. Who are the artists on that, uh, on that list? Suge Mike was killing oh. people. Hold on, let me pull that up. So real quick though, while she pulls that up, look him was signed to E1, then Atlantic, then Queen B Records, which was hers, and then Big B. So she never was signed to oh, Bad she Boy. So never she never was Bad Boy. So she must have was was she on Atlantic when she had her that poster that the people <laughs> referenced? Um I don't know. Let me look it up. Let me find out. What was that album from? That album was um right. where she's dropping it low. Yeah, yes, that she one did was the hardcore. That was hardcore. Hardcore. That was at that must have been Atlantic. 
Uh, that hardcore album was slapping. Just to go back and listen, please. I used to think Lil Kim was the most beautiful. Yep, that was on the land. Here's what was we're not very, talking about. Live performance. Bad boy shows looked way more fun than death row shows. <clears throat> to, like, like Kev said, the shiny suits. Even if he was stealing all of your money and your masters, Diddy was on stage dancing with you, which seemed like a little fun, right? Yeah. Uh, I feel like the shows were more. I, I just seemed like a more fun environment. And they just did a bad boy reunion tour. Death Row ain't did no reunion tour, nigga, because well, niggas is dead or in jail. Right. You they say really dead or in dead? Dead or in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and niggas is dead or in dead. Yes. Okay. Okay. So some of the people that um on Bad Boy who are living in the living on the struggle bus, Loon, he Loon, in because he he he, Loon because, was in jail though. That, yeah. well, because of drug trafficking, because he wasn't making no money from his. Don't record. you put that on Diddy? He does. Dylon, G Dep. That's his own fault. Dylon, all, all of them. Oh, he passed away, didn't he? Who? Craig Mack passed. He passed away. Well, I'm saying this is all before that, y'all. Oh. I'm telling y'all this. It, 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 all these people. It's called like the y'all never heard of the Bad Boy Curse. Here's the thing, though, Meg. None of those people were humongous stars. That's that is the case for a lot of people, even people who were big. Tony Braxton, TLC, they went broke too. They wasn't on Bad Boy. That's the record industry. Did he just playing the game? Okay, so let's do make it right. Again. To here, name those people on death row that you that you name, and let's decide if they living in poverty because um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, you know, what I'm like okay, <laughs> they ain't let's doing decide if they're living in poverty. <laughs> like, we, had, we had we had um, I love them, you know, but we had Snoop. He's fine. He's, He's fine. good. Uh, Dre. He's doing great. Good. Um, you had uh the lady of rage. You know, it might have been a tough year. Yeah, poverty. You know. poverty. Next. Um, you had uh Bow Wow. Boward Woward was just in Houston last week. He just he just he rented a boat a couple weeks ago. It was a it was a smaller like, boat than we was he Houston. getting his money from because who is out here listening to old Bow Wow song? He's he's on uh he's on a, a couple shows though, right? Growing up hip hop, like I the, think the one. Hollywood, whatever the okay. So, so here we go. I got a list for you. We got Dr. Dre, we got the DOC, we got Second to None, we got Tupac, we got Above the Law. Second got, to None, I've never heard of Second a couple of people in my got, life. We got Danny Boy, we got Das Dillinger, we got Damn. I'm just gonna say the people that y'all would know corrupt. We got the LBC crew, we got no, 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 no say everybody. <sighs> That's the fun part. All right, so we got Dr. Dre, we got Suge Knight, we got DOC. We got Second to None, we got Tupac, we got Above the Law, we got CPO Boss Hog, we got Crooked Eye, we got Danny, Danny Boy, Daz Diligent, we got Jewel, we got J Flex, we got Jewel, the white girl Jewel, <laughs> Johnny J, we got K Solo, we got Corrupt, we got the LBC Crew, Lady of Rage, we got Lisa Lopes, we got MC Hammers, we got Michelle Lay, that was the other person I forgot about. Lisa Michelle Lopes Lay. or Lisa Lopez? No, Lisa Lopes, L O P E S. That's Lisa Lopez. I thought it was That's left eye, right? That's left eye. You talking about left eye? <laughs> oh, Lisa Lopez. Okay. Um, Lisa Lopes. That's Lisa, Lisa Lopez. That sounds Lopes. like a porn star. <laughs> that man said Lisa Lopes with all the confidence in all the world. The Lisa Lopes. Then no, Lopez. no, man, it says Lopes. No, no. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Stupid. Nate it definitely Dog. says no pass. We got OFTB. I don't know who that is. We got the Outlaws. We got Petey Pablo. Hey, uh, I know him. Uh, RBX, Sam Sneed. I remember Sam Sneed. Uh, Snoop Dogg, Superfly. I remember Superfly. Spider Loke. I remember Spider Loke. The Dog Pound. The Realist. We got Trey D. YGD. The Top Dog. And we got Young Soldiers. YGD. names for 100 people, and we only know five. I'm still <laughs> sticking to like, so And who could have been taking up the last none. 10? No, who's listen. second to none? Who is that? Who's, and listen, here's the thing. Who's Jimmy I'm, J? I don't know. I'm a second to none, y'all. Second to none? Hold on, I'm going to read all the ones that had an album. <laughs> this is all the people that say release an album under the label. Dr. Dre, Tupac, Daz Dillinger, Corrupt, Michelle Lay, Outlaws, Snoop Dogg, 
and the dog pound. Damn, no wonder they didn't give them niggas a chance. Nate Dog never released the album on um on uh Death Row. Yes, he's on everybody else's album. No, I but he had an album. Did Nate Dog release a, a solo album? album? Who? He released a solo album. I'm just, I guess it wasn't on um. I guess it wasn't on Death Row. Yeah, because remember, I wasn't didn't Nate Dog? He left when the rest of them left. I think so. Like when did Snoop and them? Left? They left in like the '90s. So Nate Dog left then. He didn't have an album before that, at least a, like from what I remember. He released something in 1998 after yeah, that was his departure from Death Row Records. It was called yeah. the G Funk Classics, and it was on Electra. No, Electra was his follow up. Uh, me, music and me. Yeah, but no, I guess not. But no, yeah. look, but nobody yeah. left Death Row because they were broke. They left for other reasons. I'm the- pretty sure second to none <laughs> left because <laughs> four second to none. I don't know why <laughs> that one stuck out to you. Can do. <laughs> To every, I, don't, I don't know that brother. I don't know that brother, but I mean, <laughs> he kept trying to get a meeting, but there were appointments ahead of him. Like, wait, 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 we have someone before. <laughs> but I'm second to none. <laughs> and we have none, none slots available today, my brother. <laughs> what do you mean you have someone waiting before? for a second day? <laughs> so here, stop trying to sneak eat your catnip, okay? Yeah, just just... <laughs> <laughs> like sneaking. Oh, <laughs> just taking little bumps of catnip. Oh, yeah. Next what are you topic? eating to hear? <laughs> Leftovers from last night. <laughs> what though? Flop. Left over from the trough. (laughs) That slop was so funny, but I didn't want to laugh at it because it was so funny. It was at my expense. Yeah, I can't. That motherfucker said slop. I was like, (laughs) don't give it to him from his trough. (laughs) Don't give it to him. Let's put it to a vote. Hey, who was y'all favorite member in TLC? Uh, T Boss Chili or Lisa Lopes? <laughs> Lisa Lopes was my favorite character. Character, her favorite person. <laughs> character, <laughs> was my was favorite character. <laughs> was character. I love left left eye. <laughs> uh, I answer to here. I'm going with Bad Boy. If you're gonna steal my money, at least let's pop champagne and wear black and white. <laughs> and we at least knew who they were. They, they yeah. Were Remember when Mace asked for his publishing back, and Diddy was just like, "What?" Nah. But listen, that was after Diddy had made a post about artists getting their publishing and being treated fair and all of that. And then Mace was like, "All right, so what's up with mine?" He was like, "New phone. Who this?" Who this? <laughs> he was just oh, quiet on social that. media for like a week, and then went back to regular business. He wow. did that. Remember he, when the locks was trying to get they their stuff back? They were on the radio and Puff called into the radio and was basically like, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. He Puff was like, it. you know how much money I'm making off of the locks? $182 every week. I am not <laughs> How can I preach entrepreneurship if I don't own all your stuff? Right. <laughs> this is terrible, y'all. And y'all forgot that he made them walk to uh, across the Brooklyn Bridge to get cheesecake from Juniors. Listen, did anybody no, have to they, do that on death row? They did that because they wanted to be famous, Meg. Nobody made Okay, them. and he was like, hey, you guys want to be in this famous group that's not going to make any money and that's going to cause you to cro- walk across the bridge? Cool, I'll do that for you. That's a crazy power flex. Should it is. have him kill people though. Like you want your album to come out second to none, probably ain't got no bodies. That's why his album didn't come out. <laughs> the point <laughs> he didn't, he didn't kill anybody. So Kim, you say bad boy, Pat, what you bad say? Boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. I already know. Murder's more fun. So I'm going. Oh, God. What the hell? That was I feel, you, I feel like Meg. I feel, I feel like Meg devil. seeing Suge Knight one on one would probably go at least five, six rounds before Suge <laughs> out. I feel like Meg be yeah, like, "What's up, boy? Ain't nobody scared of you." Yeah. You're when that little dude knocks Suge out, and it, it it instantly 
dissipated all the allure of him when he got knocked out. We were like, what? That was it? He was like, uh-uh. <laughs> we going with Cadillia. I'm going with Bad Boy. Woo. Uh, Double B. I'm, I'm really conflicted off of this one. I probably... I probably would go death row just because I don't ever want to live in New York. And I feel like you would have to live in New York while you were on bad boy. So I'll just, I'm going to go, I'm going to go death row just on that. I'm just going to just on that. So no, that's how it looks like the bad boys have it. So bad boy that round. So to hear, Hey Tom, to hear just said bell boys because he wishes he could go somewhere or he just likes Taco Bell. Back to you. Damn. <laughs> Blue Bell. Blue Bell ice cream. <laughs> when I said your hair looked nice, I was lying. <laughs> Meg, is that elephant because you're a Delta or you just like elephants anyway? Uh, both. both. Do other uh, sororities <laughs> have... Hey, you, you can pledge us next semester. Not <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I'm just representing for Represent support. Represent once you pledge, okay? I'm just supporting. We'll come right back right after this. What's up, good people? I want to ask you a real question. Do you feel like there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? And if you do, just know that you're not alone, okay? With the year we just had and still what we're going through, it is very understandable that people are not feeling like themselves, all right? I encourage you guys to talk to someone. And if you're going to talk to someone, talk to the people at BetterHelp, all right? They will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist, all right? And most times you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Now, I have to be very clear about this. This isn't a crisis line. This is not a self-help line. This is professional counseling done securely online, all right? There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. And... One of the great things about BetterHelp is that the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor and you'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. All right, now BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so that make it easy and free to change your counselors as needed. Listen, I have to be completely honest. This is one of the best things for me because it took me three therapists to feel comfortable enough to kind of open up so we could start to peel away those layers and really find out the root of some of my unhappiness. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, all right? So for all my listeners out there, I want to hook you guys up. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and all Deaf Squadcast listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Again, that's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. Join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Go today to betterhelp.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. Peace. Next topic of the day, would you rather never have anything sweet again or would you rather never have anything salty again? Salty automatically made me feel like it was too salty. So I'm just assuming you mean like having like a salty, salty like like chips or, or fries or. Oh, OK, 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 OK. Dang. I know to hear his answer. He got high blood pressure. So you already know which one he going with. <laughs> But the other one is what? High cholesterol? So both no, diabetes. The other one is what? Diabetes? Diabetes. diabetes. Be sugar. Yeah, sugar. I don't know. Sugar. I feel like there are, there are more foods that are sweet that we enjoy than the, than salty. You think? Yeah. I'm a, well, it depends. Some people are like sweets people. And some people are just like, I need like a chip or something. I'm a sweets person. So I can, I, I'm not going to go the rest of my life without a cupcake. I can't do it. You ain't going to go the rest of today without a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. Don't feel bad for her, Cornelia. She is just fine in here. Watch some of these old episodes from the last year. Do you want to do the woman in here? Don't, no, don't you hey, like, What did I do? Don't you dare. Don't you talk to me or Cornelia like that. Listen, <laughs> the clip I, I picked. The clip she I called I picked me her homegirl in the clip from today. Because you are. You are <laughs> I call you to keep yeah, you about stuff. strong. Yeah. Don't you feel bad? She can hold she her said, own. She said, "I called Matter you." Matter of fact, she's a bully. Low key, the people in <laughs> low key, you've been bullying her. You're not gonna sit here and tell these lies about me, okay? 
<laughs> that's manipulation. Then when we fire back, we hate women. <laughs> that's oh, she goes right to it. That's manipulation. Every time. Listen. I mean, but do you? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you? This no. nigga said, <laughs> like, I go with. I could go without eating something sweet a lot, uh, a lot more than something salty. You're not gonna go out without eating nothing. <laughs> like, I don't really like what's sweet. salty. What do you eat that's salty? Like, are you Lies, a salt vinegar egg, chicken? Egg, egg, eggs. Um, you, don't eggs uh, you don't put, eggs you don't put no salt and pepper on your eggs. You just eat plain eggs. You don't put no seasoning. I put seasoning, more savory. but I stay away. I'm staying away from the salt. I feel like that it should be not sweet and salty, but sweet and savory. Yeah, maybe that you because I mean, then that includes like s- like salt and like I mean a uh, steak and stuff like that. I feel like that's easier to or harder to choose between. Mm. Here's like no, I was thinking about salted pork, my favorite. <laughs> it's not. It's not my favorite. So. <laughs> you look like you eat a lot of salted pork. <laughs> that three a.m. Brisky don't. I stay away from salt as well. I don't do a lot of salty stuff. You a lie? Why you got high pl- blood pressure medication? Did it can run in the family, man? And it's not the salt that makes it high. The salt can what is make it? it worse. But you could have that as a as a pre existing condition, or it can run in your family. Is that what your case family. is? Who else in your family got high blood pressure? Three uncles and my mom. You know what? I heard somebody oh, say <laughs> some things don't run in the family hereditary. It's just that people eat the same thing that the other people ate that gave them that thing. That's true. It's not hereditary. You just eating the same stuff uh, that you your uncle. That and makes a why, lot of sense, though. Yeah, it's like, bro, this, this is not hereditary. You eating collard greens three times a week with ham hocks as a seasoning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's dang. Well, I mean, is the there same any diet? You eating the it, same diet? You go. What about people who didn't grow up with their biological parents? Do they have similar? That's, I don't know. If that's I was talking about my doctor about this. He said Asian culture. I don't remember what it is, but something they get from eating a lot of rice. Uh, they tend to have is it stomach cancer or something? I don't know. But he said there's a lot of cultures. Uh, there's a lot of disease that are culturally based based off their diet. And black people tend to eat foods that are high in sodium, so we tend to have high blood pressure, high cholesterol. He said Asian people tend to eat food that has a lot of rice and starch, so they end up having something. I don't remember what it was. Um, and, you know, th- basically he was going along the lines of saying it's not hereditary, it's, it's diet-based. So you eat the same diet, you get the same, you know, the same results. That makes sense because we eat some salty foods. So yeah. I, I just read something that says that it could play, like, it could be related, but it also... Um, environmental and potent, are potential factors for increased risk as well. So it could be both is what it says, basically. Well, okay. So are we agreeing that it is now so sweet versus savory or are we sticking to the salt? I Either savory. way, I'm picking the sweet. I'm staying with sweet. I don't, I'm not even a sweet person, but I can go, I know for a fact I can go without salt. Mm. Like I, I know. stick with salt because I think salt, like savory, yeah, you can talk about like steaks and stuff like that, but you wouldn't call fries savory. You wouldn't call chips savory. Would. It would be. I would definitely call. You them would savory. call fries savory. Oh, yes, they these fall are under savory, savory fries. Food. Just plain it's fries. Definitely a savory food, though. That doesn't. That doesn't even make sense, Megan. Okay. No, but it doesn't be sweet or savory. I think if you. In that distinction, here I, it says, "Look, this is a definition of savory. It says food belonging to the category that is is salty or spicy rather than uh, sweet." I didn't know that was the actual definition. I told you, it to makes hear. a lot more sense with the definition. So I I, I retract <laughs> my, my previous statement. <laughs> so here's just like which category pickle pig feet go in. That's really what you wanted to know. Huh? <laughs> I know what category that's in, Meg. So shout you out. wanted to know what category he was in. He's like, okay, so I'm savory. You crazy? I'm a treat. <laughs> I'm, a whole, I'm a whole snack over here. What you talking? What you talking? <laughs> yeah, you do look like you got ranch going through your veins. Oh, what is it? Like what is it? <laughs> What is oh, it taking oh, back? I did you nothing. see how she I did nothing to you. You just woke up and chose. No, violence. no. Y'all do stuff to me. Don't sit here and act like you never say nothing about me. Meg, I hardly ever say. I, I complimented you when we first got on here. He did. You, you, you were once me. out of when to you hear. When the last time you complimented me? 
You're attacking me on Mary Martin Day. You but wait, Ken, what, what are you picking? You attacking the black man? Don't do that. Don't say that. I'm manifesting. manifesting. You shadow picking? What yeah, what's, what's going on? Is this a head scratch? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm manifesting. <laughs> hey, uh, what I'm, you're doing right now should be a terrorist attack. This is a hate crime for you to attack me this way on Martin Luther King. <laughs> to hear. That's true. You couldn't even wait to a different day. You just, you're an extremist. Well, first of all, we shouldn't have been working on MLK Day, okay? We shouldn't have been working on here. We should be the, the, the fact that we are able to work for a black owned company and we're doing it our way shows how far we've come since MLK. So mm -hmm. thank you. We should be working thank for the way. community today. So here was doing Martin Luther King Crab Day. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Martin, a Martin Luther King Crab Boy. <laughs> King Crab Boy. <laughs> Why are you attacking you too, to here? Be fair. Be fair. <laughs> Martin Burger King. He doesn't do it. He hasn't done it as frequently as you. Don't say it much. Is way is better. Better. Hold, on. Hold on. Pat is an asshole. I tell Pat literally daily, fuck you. Literally <laughs> daily, I say fuck you. Be fair. Be the million fair. Man drive I am. In Burger King. I am being fair. No, the million, the million is the only person no. on this show right now with any sense and any and any grace and tact. The rest of you, you got to fire at you too. <laughs> don't don't sit here. You guys, are, you guys are unkept and un, and uncouth. <laughs> he almost didn't get it out, uh, but I did though. So shut it up. <laughs> hey, you marched with Huey Fig Newton. <laughs> 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 it's not just me. You yeah. you march with Honeycomb X. <laughs> Wait, what? With who? Malcolm Honey. All right. Camille, was, you remember when you I did the it. news? Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> dumb. <laughs> He's from Detroit. <laughs> that was dumb, Kevin. You ruined a perfectly good time. But Pat he, also he fucked think news. All right, let me think of another one. I feel like Michael <laughs> Scott. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty. <laughs> uh, no, no. You got nothing, Cam. You don't. He be say he handcuffed himself to the golden arches. <laughs> <laughs> the here with the sit-ins it was like, well, I thought can we order at least? No, man. We're supposed to be demonstrating. Man, but I like the open face sandwiches here. Hey bro, listen, if we have to sit in for six, seven hours, I'm ordering something. <laughs> Listen, we're taking up all. Listen, when you first get there, you first get there, they be like, "We don't want your nigga money," but you taking up all the counter space for six hours. They ain't got no customers. It was like, "What y'all niggas want, man? What y'all?" <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to smell it. The, the visual, of the people are setting up the city and being mad at you, like, so we wasn't gonna eat nothing. Why are we doing it at a lunch counter then? Why we can sit in at a at a cleaners or something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Low key, I, I don't know if I told you all this. There was an affirmative action bake sale at my college. Did I tell you about this. No. Like, affirmative really, action bake affirmative sale. Affirmative action bake sale at my college in 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 uh, at UW. The the college Republicans was selling white cookies for a dollar. Yes. Uh, black cookies for fifty cents. Their whole point was affirmative action. This is how you, you know they make people feel whatever. And uh, Asian cookies were like thirty cents, and then uh, Native American cookies were like ten cents. So we up there. What is a Native know, American uh, cookie? Huh? No, What's they were all just regular cookies, oatmeal raisin and all this stuff. They were just selling. If you're a Native American, you only got to pay this prices. price was the whole thing. So we Wait, who there. was mad at that? Huh? Who was mad at that? The Blacks and the Samoans. We like, you Why? trying to keep how you want. I got a discount cookie. So this is the funny part. I was in there. This is a true story. I was like, what? How much the over raising is give me two of them. Uh, <laughs> and they were like, Kev, you can't buy them. I was like, I mean, I'm with the struggle, but also, this is a great deal. Also, <laughs> we're there to protest. Also, my I was there to protest, low. but I also like open raising cookies. <laughs> then this Samoan dude came. And this is when the college Republicans were like, we didn't really sign up for this. Samoan dudes from the football team came, and they wasn't trying to hear none of that stuff. They flipped these tables over. The white people were like, well. That's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Packed up the stuff in their briefcases, left their tent, left the cookies on the ground. That was the last day they ever did that. The whole four years I was there. That was my freshman <laughs> year. They never staged. This Simone's wasn't trying to hear none of y'all reasoning. 
<laughs> and you're not really trying to see no Samoans one on one, especially if no, you're no, white. No, no. You never try to do that. And now no. Samoans from the football team, like no. they really came from Samoa. Cuh, you don't want to see that. Samoa. <laughs> you don't want to see them. No, no smoke there, they say. That's so funny that all it took was like a, a white person seeing a table flip over there just like, okay, well. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is so like people gathering paper would never not be funny. People like, all right. And, uh... Except there was cookies. They were putting cookies in briefcases. Like, okay. <laughs> humble hmm. pack up. Well, listen, let's go ahead and put this to a vote, man. Um, what, what y'all going with? Y'all going with sweet or you going with savory? I'm going with sweet. sweet. Never having sweet again? Sweet or? for me too. Yeah, me too, sweet. I the majority. Wait, hold on. You would never. You rather. Well, what is it again? You'd rather have or you would never have. You 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 can go without never having again. Oh, I can go without having so the savory, the salt. But wait, uh, wait, no, no, no. But wait, did we decide if we were talking about <laughs> salt? Or savory as a we're whole. Gonna with, we're gonna go with savory as a whole. Savory. So anything, everything that's considered savory, that's something salty or spicy. So there's no hot. Wait, but mashed potatoes are savory. That, oh, well, that's then out. Well, then, no yeah, mashed potatoes, no pizza, here. no hot wings, no fried chicken. Oh no, man, get no this. Fries, get no no food. Salad, yeah, I'm, no, down, no, I'm out of here. No potato you. salad, but no, no potatoes, no, no uh, hash brown, none of that. All of that savory. Oh yeah, I'm out. sweet. This is this is yeah, Meg's sweet. doing. She made it happen like this. Uh, that's fine. My answer's still the same. I'd rather get rid of the savory and I'll just eat cake <clears throat> for breakfast, ice cream for lunch, and cookies for dinner. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the savory. You're gonna give up, you're gonna give up your leg for a midnight snack. That's exactly <laughs> what's gonna happen. All right, so what we got, Meg, you still gonna go sweet? I mean, uh, you can go without savory. Can you... Correct. I'm going without sweet. Okay, Kev. Going without sweet too. Pat, going without sweet. All right. Looks like the savory has it on that one, Meg. You suck. We're gonna move on to this last and final topic right after this. Skip. Hey, what up, guys? I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always in front of a screen now, right? Whether it's my TV or my laptop or my phone, it's always something. And sometimes it's good to just unplug, you know what I'm saying? To get away from that, you know what I'm saying? We over here, we don't do wires, you know what I'm saying? We do Raycon wireless earbuds. And when I need to unplug like that, that's exactly what I do. That way I can still catch up on my favorite news podcast or binge on the audio book. Or if I need to power through a workout, it doesn't matter. I have the capabilities to do that with the Raycons. You understand what I'm saying? There are no dangling wires or stems to get in your way out here. Raycon comes in a range of stylish colorways, but also with a comfortable in-ear fit for a more discreet look. All right, Raycons are built to perform anywhere and anytime with water and sweat resistant construction and Bluetooth that pairs instantly. Y'all don't understand how fast it's in. Like, as soon as you grab it out the box, turn it on, boo doo doo, turn on your Bluetooth on your phone, boo boo. Oh, I found it. That's what it does automatically. That's seamless pairing. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And with enough battery life for six hours of playtime, six hours of, of audio books, of playlists, of podcasts, they got you covered. And the best part, Raycon makes great sound accessible for everyone. All right, you ain't even gonna break the bank out here. With wireless earbuds starting at half the price of other premium audio brands, you'll be able to still enjoy everything with crisp sound. Now, Raycon's offering 15% off of all their products for my listeners. And here's what you got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. That's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. So feel free to grab a pair and grab a spare if you want to. Grab some friends, some, grab some family. Some, you know, man, you can 15% off at buyraycon.com slash squad. Again, that's buyraycon.com slash squad. Last topic of the day. What's worse, stubbing your pinky toe versus hitting your elbow? Ooh, that funny bone. Oof. Yeah, I mean, that little toe, you know, it's a baby. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to lean towards the toe because once, in the, if you hit it real bad, you knock that little nail off. You ever heard, you know, seen somebody without that toenail? Ooh. Mine about gone. Ooh. Like, I'm, yeah. Kevin's baby toe is dead. It is. Yeah. It is. 
You look at his foot. Is it? Is it? Let me see. Show us your toe. No, I don't. I'm not going to do that. So Jazz is doing black. Wait, why is it? What happened to it? Did you just Jazz's feet look like Shaq's feet? A lot of a lot of growing up wearing shoes that were too small because of abject poverty. Um, that was mostly it. Like, don't try to add that in. Wait, Wait, you trying to make us feel sorry? No, nobody. I'm gonna make you feel sorry. This is what I grew up with. Everybody's dad ain't a doctor, Pat. I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) Wait, no, hold on, hold on. That's not hand me down shoes. That's nice. You well, did not get. You do not have fucked up shoes? because of your your poor shoes as a kid. I refuse. Pat, you don't know what it's like, bro. We didn't go to Lincoln High School for the arts. <laughs> did I? Or Hamilton? <laughs> what was it? Hamilton? Yeah. Hey, wait something. a minute, though. Where, like, you were you getting hand me down shoes? No, they were just. Uh, buying that's what I'm saying. So you had to go had buy your shoes. Why you had buy your size for, for a reason. long time? You had what? We just had oh. to keep it for a long time. Oh, okay. Well, that you makes wasn't sense. getting shoes every year. And you that led shoes. to black toenails? Yeah, let me look at them real quick. <laughs> Why does every black dad have a, a black toenail? Like, when does that happen? Because, man, no, no, the struggle. No, not everyone. That's fungus. I don't fungus. have a black toenail. You don't my have toes. one black toenail? No, my toes are I don't either. Black. I don't, I don't have one either. So he but does I have people who got the black toenail. It's, it's usually black dads. They no. always got a black toenail. No, sir. It's usually fungus. They call them wood toes in the South. Wood, you got wood, wood toes. toes. Oh man, that's even wood like, toes. Yeah, you never heard toes. that. You got wood no, toes. No, I never heard that. No, I'm good. But it's usually fungus. Do I'm you? Okay. Is your toe look still look like me. that, Kev? My feet could. I just have a I'm corn. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I know. You got the thighs <laughs> out, don't you, La Mama? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Kev, Kev dressed like he for to do the beginning of the Buster Challenge. Uh, it's just it's just got that big corn. That's not that's a grown up corn. Are you still? Yeah, that yeah, corn is a, that's, that's a, a grown thing. up corn, right? Yeah, that's there. the thing. Yeah, yeah. Why you got corns and you can afford shoes that fit, Kev? I just haven't done the Doctor Shows thing that gets them down. No, that means you need to wear shoes that fit. I don't even really wear shoes at all that much no more. <laughs> I only put <laughs> shoes on when I gotta leave the house. My if I ain't wearing slides. Why you, how do you get a corn? You just growing them so you could harvest and eat them later? <laughs> like, I've had popcorn. corns for as long as I can remember. Really? Man, I don't remember ever not having corns. Like even if I have a bunion. Corn. Do you? I've had, I have hereditary bunions. I remember being in like the second grade and I looked at my feet. I was like, well, I have bony feet. And then I got older and was like, oh, snap. I've been having bunions my whole life. What What is a yeah. bunion exactly? Yeah, um, you got yeah. bunions. <laughs> <laughs> That's I funny. didn't get that right away, but when it, when it hit, it was good. Feet. What, what is a bunion, man? It's when the bone, when the bone comes out right here. See? Yeah, you got that, like that knob. Oh, it's snap. Bone that, like, Hold oh, on, what is, first of all, what is happening with your foot? Okay, your, what what foot is that? That's my. This is my heel. The bottom oh, it's of my backward. Foot. Okay, okay. <laughs> what foot is? Oh, that? that's your big toe, and then you got a Ew. you got an elbow on your toe. You got a bumper. You know, I have, I have huh? y'all. I've had these bunions since <laughs> yeah. I was like my whole. I was in elementary school with bunions. That thing got a bump on it. I do, and but they don't hurt. And I talk. I have a. I went to the foot doctor. I was like, "Can I get surgery on these?" And she was like, "Well, do they hurt?" I was like, "No." She was like, "Girl, don't get no surgery on them yet. Like, they might not be cute." But do you have to get wide shoes? When you get surgery, they will have to break your toe, and then it have yep, to and then they back, shave they, the bu- yeah. they break your toe, they straighten it, and then they shave the the bump off. It's oh, like, that, it doesn't that always take. take. It doesn't always take like your your toe can go back and wrong because my mom she has bunions and she has hammer toe, and they they basically told her what are what is her hammer what is her hammer toe <laughs> can't they can't touch this <laughs> <laughs> no hammer toes are pretty unfortunate I'm not even gonna what lie is here. a hammer toe <laughs> when they hammer like toes? bend like this when your toes bend they curled curve down is that it yeah go go go. <laughs> Her hammer toe, like, so she has really, uh, she has really bad bunions, um, but also like, so it looks like, like, it's almost like the toes are like doing like this, like they are. They're, they're throwing just, up grip. They're just yeah, going crazy, they're, y'all. 
But yeah, they do bend downward to look like a it's hammer. It's like the, the middle knuffle makes them like bend down. Yeah, Amelia, the thought of you in a gang throwing up gang signs is just <laughs> like I will be having such a blast. That'd be one like the fact that you said just a blast is such a is so much around. It's very telling, very telling that she is not. Hey, ready. you got that on both your feet? Yeah, yeah, one's worse than the other. And so, when I mean, you introduce them to men, do you gotta tell them first? Like, all right, hold on, now listen. I don't they actually don't look that like when they don't look that bad, but like when you obviously with a sock on, all you see is the the bunion pop it up. But they don't look that bad, and they don't hurt. But I have them on my my dad and my mom's side, so it was bound to happen. So the mama got it. It well, don't hit a. It don't well, hit against. Make hard left turns. You got to be careful when you walk in the front of me. That's what I like. Seriously, Meg, do you have to get wide shoes? Because that's yeah, more get a my feet are also wide. So yes, I have to. But my feet are wide. If I didn't have bunions, they would still be wide. But it don't press against the side of your shoes. Mm. You slides mm -hmm. it. Are you just used to it now? No, it doesn't press. Like, but I know uh, the doctor said when I get older, like maybe fifties and sixties, it'll probably be a like it's gonna. I probably will have to get surgery on them because they're probably gonna start hurting. And then yeah, gonna you're gonna be down. like going down the aisle for your wedding at that time. So you really want to make sure that they can fit into <laughs> the <laughs> Either, And shut up, Kev. Even when I do go down the aisle, I'm gonna be barefoot. I don't really like wearing shoes. So really, hey, you can't do no crimes in the snow. We will find you immediately. What? <laughs> 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 you can't be. <laughs> Yo, the visual of like you know how Wolverine on the cartoon used to be tracking stuff. Him looking down like, looks like Meg was here. She's heading thirty miles. A, a wild Meg came through. <laughs> oh my gosh, Meg, why do you That's already know that you want to go down the aisle with no shoes? Like you, you have already thought about that. That didn't just come out of nowhere. Because I don't like shoes. I mean. It like, I've always wanted to get married on the beach, so yeah, I ain't wearing no have a beach wedding. Oh, that's the worst. I hate sand in my toes. I will be frustrated. I love it. And sand be stupid hot, too. You got to do sunset. Like, it can't be one o'clock. It had, you know, maybe four or five. The beach is overrated, guys. I'm just going to say it. I don't like it. The sand be everywhere, the water be cold. That's like People. an easy way to exfoliate your feet, Kim. You should love that. Cause really? you Low key, it. no <laughs> lie. I've been having to put cocoa butter on my feet because they was cracking so bad it had started to hurt. And I was like, all right, something must be done. Cocoa I, butter? Man. That was and then cocoa butter fixed it? No, we're still in the process of working it out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get be... the stone. You gotta bust that down. Get that. Bust that down. Bust that down. <laughs> That's one thing I ain't gonna hold y'all. I've got a pedicure. You talk about relaxation, man. Mm -hmm. Pedicure bust is out the, the saw best. for you. Huh? Just a little greater. Bust thing. out the saw for you. Nah. And the ladies' hands be soft. They be in the warm water and stuff. And they be shh. They ask you if you want a little color. I'll be like, just clear for me. <laughs> I don't get the color. I just have them buff it. Give it a little shine with the buff. Don't mm -hmm. need no. And to hear I put me on at this place, but they don't take uh reservations on their on their website but it's a it's a place for men to get their feet done oh yeah what was it whiskey. hammer and nails is it is that one yep that's whiskey a good place, yeah. and newspapers and stuff black owned shout out to black, black owned, owned. That's the, big off the of there before tank. the pandemic big off of shark tank it was great i loved it i can't wait to open back up just to get there go back there hang out what's the little grater thing called that they use on your feet the little cheese grater looking thing Cheese grater. She did a cheese grater thing. <laughs> really called the cheese. And it has the stone on the other side, so you can bust down that ash on the back on the uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Say bust yeah. down. <laughs> so bust, <laughs> bust down the ash. Bust down that ash <laughs> on the back of the hill. You know it'd be that ash on the back of the hill. Get that. Bust so it down. What, what, what are we going to? Let's put it to a vote. We, Man, we you put it to a vote. The pinky. Right, we the didn't pinky talk about the elbow though. Y'all think you can really break your elbow? Can you break your elbow when you hit it? Cause you can break your pinky toe when you Listen, hit it. Listen, the worst pain ever, I stub, bang my elbow. The worst, stubbing your toe on the corner of a metal bed in the middle of the night the is frame? just like, the frame, it is the absolute worst. The elbow lasts longer, but the, the, the stubbing your toe there's not a, like your pinky is, he'd be naked out there. There's not a lot to protect. Your elbow's a part of a bigger arm. The pinky toe, he got no backup. That you bang that, it'd be 
I've hit my pinky toe before and almost smited God. I almost <laughs> hit that toe. Is this what you want from me? Huh? <laughs> uh, That's what you call God. God. You was on. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always just, I'm always just afraid of how the nail is gonna look after I stub my toe because every time you hit it really really bad and you look down, it's always just like ah, it's either gonna be like half off, a little off. Man, I think it's gonna be bleeding. It feels like it's bleeding every yeah. time. Every time I look down, I, I feel like it's bleeding just just ridiculously. It's just blood everywhere. It never is, but that's how it feels whenever you hit that. And, it, and then if you actually break it, you can't really do anything because yeah, they can't you put a can't. cap on it. No, you just gotta, you, that's it. It's gotta, that's it's crazy. Gotta, Damn, that's crazy. I didn't think about that. At, I'm going yeah. with the toe. Stubbing your toe is way worse to me. I'll even put that knee when you bump your knee on like the side of the coffee table before the elbow. Cause that knee on the on the coffee that table. Knee, knee, oh, Cornelia, it's the worst. It is the absolute like, worst. You have to throw up. Like you, uh, like it's bad. <laughs> You're like, oh. Remember you, we was kids. You cry so hard, you gotta throw up. Your parents would be like, hey, "You, I throw up. You want to? You, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a whoop you. Shit. I'm a whoop. <laughs> Don't why are you hitting me up. to the point where I'm convulsing? <laughs> like, oh. Wait, y'all cried oh. when y'all yeah. I mean, y'all threw up when you cried too hard. Oh, absolutely. I never did that. Oh yeah. If you yeah, you got oh, that I, I, something happened. Yeah, you be like oh. I never really oh. threw up. I mean, I felt like I was gagging, but I never really. Period. I one never time, my dad. You no, know, I'm saying no. When I'm crying, I've never like threw up from crying. That's I funny. almost threw up. One time, my dad beat me so hard, my toes caught a cramp, and they was flicked over like this, and I had a cramp in my calf. I was crying in the room and he came back in and was like, I just want you to know, I gave you 32 lashes. And then he closed the door back. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? what was the point of that? Why would you, what, like, what's what the point of doing that information? He told, he that told number? you, he told you leave that cereal alone. You wouldn't stop. And why was that yeah. counting? You had 32 <laughs> lashes. No. That's why was, did he do Camilla, that? I was so, it was like psychological warfare. I was like, why would you tell me? Why would you tell me that right 32? now? 32? Why did he? And why are you whooping me off of it? Should be in tens. First of all, fives are tens. You can't 32, right. either get you to 35 or stop whatever, at 30. The age you were is how many you got, how many lashes you got. It's like he committed to that number before he started, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of crazy. And it also, if you're counting, that means once you get like to 12 and 13. It's kind of wild to still be going, like, bro. <laughs> you've made your point already. You're like in your mind, you're still going 27, 28. That's pretty crazy. It's probably more because you know you you be in the moment and you like miscount. So he probably yeah. low key gave you like thirty six. But he probably. <laughs> now in his defense, the 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 reason I got in trouble is I was jumping off the roof onto the roof of his car, just over and over. I was jumping to his old Ford Tempo and I was climbing back on the roof. And jumping down, and he came down. He saw the hood was bent over. Oh yeah, well you need. Oh to yeah, relax. yeah, yeah. I would have oh, gave okay. you. I would have gave you fifty six. Oh, there's the backstory. I see. Yeah, I definitely. Okay. Uh, I was surprised it. I got away with it for that long. I was like, this is crazy. This has been like weeks. I've been doing this, but the car wasn't running or nothing. I don't know why he kept it. That's why he counted. You still yeah. can't damage the Ford Tempo. Like, come on, man. He was yeah. watching. What, <laughs> look, for, Kev, what if he was watching you do it every time? It did. <laughs> yeah, the thirty. I only got thirty two. Oh, you thirty seconds. Thirty He was on the phone call and he heard you do it. Let me call you back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the math led up to thirty two. It had something to do with something he saw. <laughs> when right, well, we put it to a vote, what are we going with? Pinky toe or elbow? Pinky toe's worse. Pinky toe for Meg. Pinky toe for Cornelia. For Kev. Pat, what are you going with? Pinky toe. I'm going pinky toe as well. Unanimous on the pinky toe, man. Uh, it is definitely a horrible pain. That's been another episode of Squadcast versus Man. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for the recommendations and the suggestions. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Continue to send those to my Instagram inbox. T like, label it Squadcast first so I can easily see it. And I'll click on that. If it's labeled something else, I will miss it. I promise you that much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to our special guest, Cornelia Stratwork is in the building. We appreciate you pulling up, lady. Uh, we will talk to y'all later. Peace.